How are we doing guys and welcome back to another Path of Diablo video. Today I'm going to be showcasing my Charge Bolt Sorceress. Um, the only use for this character is um, key farming. It's a very specialized build that I've kind of built specifically for key farming. You definitely can use it for other things but you're going to need a lot more gear. This is going to be kind of geared towards uh, early level farming, early ladder farming. As you can see, it's pretty basic, nothing simple. I'm still using yellow boots, random towel belt. Uh, I'll go in depth with all the gear here, but very cheap build. Um, and it's also very quick and efficient. And you can see I've got an infinity, but not required at all. Um, yeah, really quick here, I'm gonna show you guys a quick key run. All right, here we are in the Haltech. And we're gonna go right to the door here. Should be right up here. And then we're going to read the walls here and determine which way to go. How's that can be really tricky because he does use Corpse Explode. Um, so you can use to clear it out a little bit. Um, if you choose, you can sit on the edge here and just cast in. You just got to watch your mercenary because he'll run in there and get Corpse Exploded to death. Um, so you can either pre-cast like this a little bit and just sit on the outside. Especially if you don't have um, insane gear, don't have infinity, whatever. Otherwise, you can also just telestomp them. Ooh, we got an amulet. Nice. Gonna be something stupid, guarantee it. Um, or you can just tell stomp them um, if you have really good gear, really high ES. Um, no worries, definitely you can do that. So let's see. High village, not bad, not bad at all. All right, we'll go to Arcane next. Unlike Countess and uh, Naltak, no trick for Arcane that at least I'm aware. Ooh, we got lucky that time. Um, it's just kind of random, 25% chance to hit it, so. Oh my goodness, we are just killing it today. Another H key and a Doom Slinger. Eventually, I do want to make a Bow Sork. Um, so, a Sorceress that uses this weapon. Um, you have to up it and four socket it. it. I do have a four socketed one, but uh, I don't have the gear. It's a pretty gear intensive build. Hop in here. Oh my god, it's right here, too. We are getting so lucky. And once again, we use the trick. It's always left. If you guys want an in-depth guide on how to farm keys really quickly, check out my pathfinding video that I put up last week. It's really good showing you how to find Countess, how to find the Haltak, how to find Veil. All that good stuff. And we're going to complete this entire run in under three minutes, so that's pretty good. Oh my god, and a double tear! Look at this streamer loot, boys! That is streamer loot hype! I think all I need is one more D-key and then I can do Ubers. So I've had people complaining super hard about me not doing full Ubers. Yeah, so I just need one more D key and then I can do an Uber uh, on my summoner druid for you guys. And that is some streamer loot. That is amazing. Alright, boys, yeah, that's it. So uh, you see under three minute run there with me talking and whatever. Um, so it's super quick, super efficient. Um, you can do other stuff with it. You can go do, you know, you can do Pindle on Elich. No worries. Uh, the reason you want to do charge bolt over other builds for especially key farming is that none of the um, key bearers, per se, um, are ever lightning immune. So even without infinity, if you don't have infinity, you can still kill all of the, uh, the key bearers. The summoner and Elich. No, I'll attack not Elich. Elich is only And Countess. For example, it's mostly Twister. Um, but you can definitely do more than that. Like I said, you can do this, you can do um, Pindle, you can still kill Meph with this really easily, you can do basically anything. Um, and I'm doing all this with no skillers, so you don't need skillers. I've got pretty basic gear, I'm nothing, not doing anything crazy. The only expensive thing is Infinity, but like I said, you don't really even need it. Um, but since we're already talking about it, let's talk about gear really quick here. The great thing about this build is it is a plus skills build, but you can literally use just about anything. 
um, anything you have available. That's why it's great to start out with. Um, so I'm currently using a Hodo. Um, this one is a 31 all res. Obviously, uh, I've got max res here, as you can see. Uh, but the more res, the better there. Um, you can always swap out different pieces to hit your max res. But I'm using a Hodo in the main slot here. I'm using a one socketed Shaco with a P Topaz in it for some little bit of magic find. You can get some pretty good drops off in the Haltech. Um, so you do want a little bit of magic find. Um, I've, I also run uh, Scolders a little bit. Uh, one thing I will note that these are not affected by magic find, so it doesn't matter if you have zero magic find or a million magic find. Key drop rates are still going to be the same, so just keep that in mind. I'm currently sitting at 167. So yeah, Shaco. Um, other weapons you could use, definitely use the Spirit. Um, you get a really good towel weapon, or you could run full towels. Doesn't really matter, guys. That's the great thing about this build. It's fully modular. Put whatever you want in. Um, you're just going to need plus skills. That's it. Helmet. You can also start off with lore. Um, if you're going towels, you can run a towel mask. Three socket of towel mask would be great. Uh, Three sork skiller or a three sork circlet rather. Um, lightning skiller. You can use a griffins if you want. There's so many options with this build. Uh, chest plate. Like I said, I usually run this Skulder's Ire just for the extra magic find. I was messing with this, uh, which I just bought for an ook off a random guy. Um, he had a Rao rune in it. I don't need the Rao rune. I could throw, probably throw a P Topaz in it if I really wanted to. Um, you can throw a lightning face it in it. Throw a lightning face it in here. Also use Tau Armor. You can use a Lightning Ormus. Literally so many options, guys. Um, as this is an ES build, um, as you can see, ES, I am using Frosties. I'd say that's pretty mandatory. You're going to want that extra mana. That's just going to allow you to take that many more hits. Uh, I'm currently running a Maros. You can use like this Eye of Etlich I just found. You can use a Tau Amulet. You can use a plus three to Lightning or a plus four to Lightning. Any plus two amulet doesn't really matter. Um, Mares is pretty good for the all res. Boots, um, this is just an example of me using some random garbage. Um, I was using them because I needed the lightning res and they gave a little bit of magic find. Um, you can run what I got here water walks, you can run treks, you can run others, you can run once again anything. War traps if you want the magic find, doesn't matter. Pretty uh, open slot here. Belt currently running a Tau Rashas. Um, you could also run the uh, Magic Find Belt. What's it called? Gold Wrap. Uh, definitely run a Gold Wrap. That's really good if you're running full Tau's. Obviously, run Tau Rashas Belt. Um, you can use a Silks. Whatever. It doesn't matter. That's the other boots a lot of people use is Silk Weaves. Um, Silk weaves are gonna be really good for the mana ES as well. If you're gonna if you're gonna take this build into maps, definitely get some silk weaves. Um, rings, I've got a random FCR ring here. This one's pretty darn good. Quad rose FCR ring uh, with MDR on it. That's pretty darn good. Um, I just swapped out my other ring here, which I was using for a BK just to get plus one skills. Um, you are gonna to want to make sure that you hit at least 105 faster cast rate. Um, so, for example, when I was using uh, Scolders here, I had to use Mage Fists just for the, uh, oh, in this ring. So I got 10 FCR plus 20 FCR. That replaces the 30 FCR on this. Um, so you, you're definitely going to want to make sure, especially with um, doing key farming, you're going to want to be as efficient as possible. And by doing that, you're going to want to hit at least 105 faster cast rate. That's going to allow you to teleport really quickly. As well as cast your charge bolts a lot faster. You get a lot more damage output. Um, shield. I am running a 28 FCR Spirit. Um, yeah. As long as it's enough to hit your FCR. I could be running a 25 FCR Spirit. Which is mineral. And still hit my 105. So it literally doesn't matter. Um, if you got 35 on this. Then you can uh, ditch this other FCR ring. And run another BK. Run, you know, you can run two Soge. You can run whatever. Just gives you more flexibility. Uh, so we get rid of these. As far as my inventory is concerned, um, it's just a hodgepodge of random crap. I do have a Sork Torch. It is terrible. 
Um, I'm running a 30 Geeds. I mean, just a lot of random crap in here just to prove that you don't need anything. Got some Magic Find Small Charms, some FCR, FHR, or not F. I wish there was FCR Small Charms. FHR Small Charms. Um, some random res and, and just a bunch of random hodgepodge crap. Uh, if you're going to take it in the maps, obviously get full lightning skillers. I didn't want to invest that type of currency into this build as I'm just using it to farm keys. And I've got other magic find builds that I can uh, do maps with way more efficiently than this build here. So keep that in mind. And I think we covered everything. Amulets, rings, belt on the swap. Uh, currently running an Alibaba with a Millabregas just to bump up my magic find a little bit. I could throw two Ists in here if I really wanted to. Um, I only really use this when I'm killing Mephisto. If I get bored and don't want to run keys, I'll, I'll do the swap just to bump my magic find up a little bit. Uh, this gives 83 base. This gives 20. Uh, if you throw some Ists in there, you're, uh, you're cooking with gas. Um, the other thing you can do since this is an ES build, especially if you're going high level with this build, um, and mapping get a memory staff I'll put a picture of it in inserted in the video here I don't actually have one um, but they're pretty cheap to make you just got to buy the base um, I didn't think to do it and quite frankly if you're only running keys it's probably unnecessary as you guys saw I destroyed the key run uh, as far as my mercenary um, I'm just running basic stuff here I'm running a treachery got a random tell helm and I'm running an infinity um, this is obviously is optional here. You definitely don't need it at the end I'll run one more key farm without the infinity just to show you guys Obviously, it's a little bit different. I'll throw the insight back on um, put that to good use. You have to play a little bit more careful because you're not gonna have the um, The infinity the conviction obviously um, but but it's not bad it, I mean that's what this build is geared towards is entry level starting off Collecting these keys. If you can get a full key set early ladder, these things are selling for like a higher a piece. Uh, it's crazy. And then if you have a character that can actually uh, kill Ubers, you're looking at, you know, if you get a Stork Torch, two, three, four high runes. Um, so definitely early game, great way to make some currency. Alright, uh, we'll start with stats first. That's easy. Stats for my build 156 strength. Use Spirit, obviously. No dexterity or just enough dexterity if you have decks on one of your pieces that you need gear for. Um, I threw about a hundred points into vitality just to get a little bit of life um, If you have super high-end gear and a bunch of lifers and a bunch of skillers and stuff You probably don't even need to do that Ideally, I want my life around a thousand so I got a little bit to strive here for um, So I threw a hundred points into vitality and then you're gonna throw everything else into energy um, Energy is gonna be your main source of uh, ES blocking here See my ES absorb 61% at the moment. Um, so yeah, everything in energy is also going to help you teleport and all that good stuff too. So definitely, definitely, definitely 156, 0, 100, everything else, right? On to the skill tree. Uh, basically all your abilities are going to be in this one tree right here. Um, and how I started out. Alright, 20 charge bolt. Going to start with that, obviously. Um, oh, and by the way, this is a build you can fully level with as well. Um, you can start all the way from level one, run charge bolt, and go crazy. Uh, 20 charge bolt. Next, we went uh, 20 teleport. Then 20 telekinesis. Um, that's just going to help your teleport. And then max out thunderstorm. You're going to throw one point into energy shield. One point into Chain Lightning, Lightning Surge, those are prereqs obviously. I threw one point into Static Field, this is optional if you're not boss killing, if you're only killing keys, don't need this point. But I'd say Static Field's always nice. One point into Warmth, and then one thing I actually forgot to do when I respect this a couple weeks ago, you need to put one point into Lightning Mastery. I don't know how I forgot this, but my next level, I'm only level like 83. Uh, next level, I have to put a point in the Lightning Master. I'm not going to respect to get one point. That's silly. Um, and then any extra points after that, we're going to throw into Lightning Surge. Right here. So that's why I've got 24 on that one. Um, but that's basically it. 20, 20, 1 point, 1 point, 20. Prerex, everything else, dump into Lightning Surge. And don't forget your Lightning Mastery. And then just 1 point in the Warmth here. 
uh, for the mana regen. And that's it. And that's basically it right there. Um, if you guys have any questions on this build, leave them down in the comments below. I'm going to do one more uh, run here using uh, Insight instead of Infinity. Just to show you guys that you definitely do not need it. So let is make a new game really quick. And we'll throw our ES up. Now if you had a memory staff, you'd want to make sure to uh, swap to the memory staff first. As you can see, my uh, energy shield is only level 15. If you had an ES staff, they can get like plus 6 energy shields. It's kind of nuts. Um, okay. Go to Halls of Pain. Master our Thunderstorm. And we'll check our halls once again. If you don't know what I'm doing here and how to read these maps, please check out my other video. And because we're not using Affinity this time, I am going to full clear, stay back a little bit. I'm going to mercenary and kill everything from behind us. Try not to get too close to the corpses because he will blow them up and kill you. See, it does take a little bit longer. Oops, teleport on. And then once he's clear, just teleport on him. And don't die. Almost died. Yeah, as you can see, definitely doable. And this is the only one that's actually challenging. Uh, all the other ones you can just stand back and destroy. So a little bit longer, but definitely not impossible. Let's throw some points. And we'll see if we can get our last key that we oh we we didn't we need a D key don't we? That's unfortunate. That's okay. I will run some D keys, and I will try to get a video of me killing Ubers with my summoning druid up. Some people seem to believe that it's not possible. I assure you it is. I just forget to record them every time I do them. Quite frankly, I'm getting a little burnt out on Diablo. Playing a lot of random other games, playing City Skylines again, playing uh, what have I been playing? COD, the new COD game just dropped their BR, so that's been fun. So I've just been distracted. I'm also working a lot as well. I haven't been uh, playing Diablo as much as I sh probably should be, but that's okay. You got to mix it up a little bit so you don't get burnt out, right? Oh, and if you see these, always get these, especially as a sorceress. Also, someone didn't like that I said Sork. I love saying Sork. I know it's Source. But source sounds weird. And sorceress, that's just way too many syllables. The Sork it is. This is my charged bolt Sork. Where is this thing at? There it is. Right. The other thing is, you definitely can kill these guys down here. Well, not when they're lightning immune, you're not using Infinity. Um, but there is like two champ packs on every single floor. Um, that can definitely drop some really good items, so... Uh, that's up to you if you're teleporting through and you want to kill them. By all means, go for it, knock yourself out. Uh, most of the time when I'm farming keys, I don't. On third floor, fourth be right over here somewhere. And easy peasy. These guys actually spawn lightning immune, but these guys are never lightning immune in here. Mercenary's got amp damage, not ideal. Gonna grab our stuff and get out of here before our mercenary dies. But yeah, just to see, uh, a little bit longer. It took me about an extra minute to do it, um, but definitely possible. No issues, no worries. The Haltak's the only one that's kind of a little uh, interesting, just because of that corpse explosion. He can one shot you if you don't have good gear. Um, but yeah, that's basically it guys. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. We are well on our way to 200 subs and I am so excited for that. 
and I'm glad you guys are enjoying these videos. They're a heck of a lot of fun to make. If there's any builds you guys want to see me make, um, I've still got some stuff on the horizon here. Um, but if there's anything you guys specifically want to see, I really want to do a discharge sork, and I've got an Andal's Wisdom to try it. Um, but once again, it's, you know, currency, time, and money, right? Um, but let me know down in the comments below. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.